The start of the pandemic, we've seen a ton of ultraviolet light devices hit the market, claiming to disinfect surfaces and items in and around your house. Simple question, do they work? Consumer expert Amy Davis putting them to the test. Good morning. Good morning, guys. You know, UV lights have been used for decades to disinfect surfaces, water treatment plants, even hospitals. So this technology is not new. It's proven to work. But small personal UV devices like these are now only becoming mainstream. So we wanted to know if they're actually killing the bacteria we can't see. Scan anything for 10 seconds with this safe and healthy disinfecting UV light and kill 99.9% .9 of viruses and harmful bacteria on the surface. We paid $19.88 for this device at Walmart, and to be honest, it feels a little cheap. This UV sanitizer box that also charges your cell phone while it claims to kill 99% of bacteria on it cost us $49.99 on Amazon. Since we can't see the germs and bacteria, we took the devices to Tanny Busby at Envirodyne Laboratories in Southwest Houston. We did swab the foams, and that's just taking a, a swab, just like what you're doing for the covert testing that we've seen the nasal swabs do the same thing. Our phones are like money covered in bacteria. And that was the case for the phone Busby swabbed and cultured. See all those white dots? Those are colonies of bacteria that were on the phone. Then Busby scanned these Petri dishes with the UV wand from Walmart. He put another Petri dish with the bacteria found on the phone inside the UV sanitizer box. This is the wand side, device number one. Within 48 hours, you could see how many of the bacteria cultures the UV devices killed. First, the wand. It was uh, very effective. Busby said the claim that the safe and healthy disinfecting UV light kills 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria is spot on. The more expensive UV sanitizer charging box didn't work as well. Hardly no reduction, nothing. And then on E. coli, hardly no reduction. They saw almost no reduction in the bacteria colony counts from the phone after they were placed in the box for 10 minutes. And Busby thinks he knows why. The takeaway is that what we found out to be really interesting, that you need to have have really direct contact with the UV light or what the area that you want to be focusing on. That's extremely important. The UV lights in the box are just on the sides and that means they don't hit all areas of the phone you would want clean. Maybe perhaps uh, if, the, if the light was on top of the lid facing down the contact time, I think we would have gotten a little bit better results. All right, so there you have it. These UV lights do work to kill bacteria and germs, even the cheapy ones, but you may have to make but you have to make sure that that UV light is coming into close contact with the surface of whatever you want to disinfect. So consider that when you're buying one. Two other points, these personal devices are completely unregulated and you want to be careful never look at that light or do it on your skin. Yeah. 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 You can get out of hand, I guess. All right, Amy.